years, the Endangered Species Act has been protecting threatened and endangered species, but new rules by the Trump administration could weaken the act. The proposed rules would make it easier to remove a species from the endangered list and weaken protections for threatened species. And for the first time, economic factors would play a role in the listing process and factors like climate change would not. I think uh, one area that's troubling is the uh, uh, increased restrictions on uh, taking into consideration whether uh, uh, climate change uh, is uh, affecting the species. White House officials say it's part of an effort to ease regulations on industries like mining, oil drilling, and development. They want to uh, reduce uh, regulatory burdens so that they can uh, intensify their, uh, their activities. They claim the act is cumbersome and it, you know, slows them down and it's got redundancies and all sorts of things. Manley Fuller with the North Carolina Wildlife Federation believes Democrats will push back on the proposal. Several environmental groups, in addition to both Massachusetts and California's attorneys general, have stated their intent to sue the Trump administration. It undoubtedly is going to be challenged uh, in the courts. The Endangered Species Act was signed into effect in 1973 under Richard Nixon's presidency. It's credited with saving animals like the bald eagle and grizzly bears from extinction. Today, the act protects over 1,600 animals and plants. Were they to be incorporated into the act itself, then you would have a, uh, a dramatically weakened uh, Endangered Species Act. Fuller has another approach which would leave the Endangered Species Act in place, the Recovering America's Wildlife Act. And it would provide $1.4 billion annually to the states to recover wildlife populations and to uh, fund the states, the various states' wildlife action plans. This act is gaining traction in the House. I think we've got around 100 sponsors now uh, on the list in, in the House of Representatives. It would leave the Endangered Species Act alone while facilitating better funding for necessary conservation steps. If the proposed rules are approved, they'll go into effect next month. Katie Augustine, 9 on your side.